Good afternoon, everybody. It is Wednesday, April the 12th, and let us start off with prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you um, just for another day to worship you and serve you. And I just pray as we read your word uh, that you would help us understand, and I pray that you would help us to desire to live for you each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we are in Psalm 119, and starting in Psalm 119, 145. It says, I cried with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning, and cried, I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief, they are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast found at them forever. So, uh, once again, uh, we we looked at Psalm 119, 137 through 144, and we saw that there was an emphasis on righteous uh, commandments, judgments, testimonies. And we see a little bit of this again in 145 through 152. But there's a word that's mentioned uh, three times here, and starting in 145, it says, I cried with my whole heart, and then 146, I cried unto thee, and then 147, I, it says, I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. And so we see that uh, the psalmist is, is crying out, um, but he's not just crying in uh, anguish as or in sorrow as one who doesn't have hope. And we're thankful uh, that we have hope. You know, God's word says that we sorrow not as others which have no hope. But our hope is in God's word. Once again, the emphasis in Psalm 119 is the emphasis on God's word, how it's all sufficient, and it's everything we will ever need. And we see in 145, it says, I cried uh, with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. And who is he crying to? It says that he's crying unto the Lord. And he says in 146, I cried unto thee, save me and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried. And I want to uh, point out uh, this a specific part. We see that he's crying out unto the Lord. He's crying with his whole heart. But then we see, it says, I hoped in thy word. So it's showing a change. You know, he's, he's crying, he's sorrowful uh, for what's happening in his life. And maybe uh, there's been a point in your life um, where it, it seems like you couldn't get any sleep because of a trial or situation um, in, in your life. Maybe there's an unsaved family member or something going on uh, in your life that keeps you awake at night. But this is what he says. He doesn't cr just cry without hope, uh, just so sorrowful that he doesn't have the Lord, but he knows the Lord. And it says, he says, I hoped in thy word. And if you've been to our church before, you, you notice that uh, when you walk in uh, the main auditorium, it says uh, that they might set their hope in God. Where does our hope lie? And does it lie in this world? Does it lie in our situations and circumstances? And we all know the truth uh, to that question. And no, our hope is in the Lord. And uh, he says, um, especially um, at the end in 151, or actually I'll start in 150, it says, They draw nigh that follow after mischief, it says, They are far from thy law. But then he says, Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. And I'm thankful that the word of God is true, and that it has stood the test of time. <clears throat> he says in 152, he says, Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast found it them forever. God's word and, and God himself is from everlasting to everlasting. And we're thankful for that. And no matter what happens with situations or circumstances, God's word is always faithful. It's always true. It has stood the test of time. And if you're looking for hope, if you're... Um, Maybe not just for salvation, and if you haven't accepted Christ as your Savior, I pray that you would do that today and find the hope uh, that you have been longing for. But if you are a Christian, we can have hope uh, day to day in 
uh, someone uh, to turn to in situation or circumstances, not just in the good times, but also in in the tough seasons of life. Um, when it seems that you can't get any sleep because there's a, a problem or a trial going on, I pray that you would do the same that this psalmist did and cry unto the Lord. And I hope you can say, I hoped in thy word. And we're thankful that the Lord's uh, word is true and it's steadfast and it's always faithful. And let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day and I thank you for being good to us. And I thank you that we can hope in your word and find the truth that is found therein. And I pray that you would help us to be a light and a testimony uh, to others around us so that we can point them to you. And I pray that you bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.